facial justice is a really important topic and all of my research has looked at intersecting forms of inequality. So that would be gender inequality, class inequality, and racial and ethnic inequality. But we live our lives in local communities and national communities. And so I was very interested in sort of disentangling how does inequality work in a particular location. So in this book, what, I, what was really exciting for me is that it provides a global tour of inequality on the ground and how does class matter. So the first chapter was on sex workers in Dubai. And so there's almost nothing. Um, most sociologists aren't working on the United Arab Emirates, right? And looking at how does your national origin affect how much you can earn as a sex worker and also where you can practice, which neighborhoods. And that is actually really important, right? Because um, what this chapter showed is that a lot of women were engaged in sex work to support their children and they weren't really, they weren't even citizens of Dubai. They were like traveling there to basically take care of their family. But it gives a, it, it provides an example of an elite location, a city of both outside of Europe and the U.S. So I start this book, I wanted the book to be sexy, right? <laughs> so I started the book with a section on pleasure and leisure spaces, right? So the first chapter was on sex workers. The second chapter was on dance clubs in South Africa. And the third chapter looked at blues clubs in Chicago. And all of these chapters looked at kind of how does gender matter, how does ethnicity matter, and how does your class position matter. And then the next section we looked at uh, post-colonial leg legacies. And I wanted to take a different approach to migration studies. Now I'm not, I have not trained as a migration scholar, and it, but if you look at a lot of the literature on race and migration, most of it, one, focuses on the U.S., doesn't look at Europe, but also doesn't look at privileged migrants, right? People who have multiple um, passports, for example. Mm -hmm. I taught, I spent a little bit of time in Beirut, Lebanon uh, a year and a half ago, and one of the things that struck me when I was at the University of, uh, the American University of Beirut, was how many of the students had du double passports, right? Mm -hmm. Had a parent who was an American and another parent who was, say, an Iraqi Jew, or like how people had very complicated family histories. And some of us can convert our genealogy into a passport that gives us more mobility than another person. And I really think that we need to complicate our discussions of migration.